Hello, um, this next video uh, is part of the syllabus for the advanced uh, ICDL spreadsheets qualification. Um, it's looking at text functions. So text functions, a lot of these you may not use, but they are on the syllabus and they can be quite useful as well. So um, it's up to you if you want to look at these as part of taking the exam or if you just want to use them for work or study or something else then everything's explained and how to use them in the video. Um, they're quite straightforward uh, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy them. Okay, so they're part, still part of the functions for the exam. Thank you. So the first one here, concatenate. And you can see um, what it does. It joins, if you like, a couple of cells, usually, generally, it's first name and second name. Um, so that they're in one cell together. Because as before, we've um, put names together into separate cells using the data tab and the uh, text columns. This time we're going to use a function to join up two strings, so join up two cells. And as you can see in this one, this is how I've done it. If we look at it in a insert function in the arguments there. You can see that it's really simple. The concatenate sits there. You've got your first cell. Your second one is your space between them. So you'd use a speech mark, space bar, enter the space, the next speech mark, and then your next cell. So let's delete that and do it together. So the first thing to do is to find the concatenate. You've got your first cell comma, speech mark, space bar, speech mark, comma, second cell, close, bracket, and enter. Now when you double click, auto fill it down, you can see that it works beautifully. Let's do it the other way. So equal concatenates coming up. Go to the FX. The first one is the Joe in B4, the second one, and see the third text area comes available automatically. Put our speech mark, space bar, speech mark, and then our next one. And you could continue. And it works exactly the same. Something that's useful in real, the real world, um, not used in the exam, is you can use ampersands to join up cells as well. So if we clicked here, if we had an equal um, to Joe blocks and we wanted to add a reference to it on the end, let's say in F4, the 112, we put an ampersand above the 7, number 7 on your keyboard, shift and uh, 7, and then added a cell reference and OKed, it would then join them up. So you can add references to text. So remember, text and data does not like sitting together. We've, we've dealt with it with regard to speech marks. But if you're joining um, text and a function, then an ampersand is really useful. So it's another way of doing it, but also it could be useful if you start to explore and expand into functions um, and you want to do lots of things. An example would be the most popular sport, and you could use a max function in the middle of that, ampersanded with text around either side, and speech marked, and you can combine the whole lot into a, a um, text box area on the spreadsheet. So it's worth maybe having a look at. But for the exam, concatenate is the one that we can. On the next uh, worksheet across, text functions, and um, there's a number of different functions in here as well that we need to be aware of. Particularly in the syllabus, if we looked at the syllabus um, functions that I have separately made available to you, um, we have a left, right and a mid. And there are some examples of mixed um, for functions as well. So you can have an equal upper to make it capitalised and then use a trim, which we're going to look at, and it applies to um, A4. So sometimes it's about just getting your brackets right, making sure that you keep things nicely done within syntax. So if we look at the left one, 
what this has done is it's extracted characters from the left. Uh, therefore, we get the um, result of Anne. So it's took the first three characters from the left. This one's taken 10 characters from the right. So in the exam, then we talk to you about extracting characters from the end of the text or the start of the text, how many characters they will tell you how many characters. If you double click on there again, you can see there's a three. So the way that we would do that is if we delete it, we do an equal left because we're going to extract the characters from the front. And we click on the cell we're talking about and then we would put in how many. And the exam would tell you how many it wants you to extract. Okay. If you look at that in an FX, really straightforward. Even if you do, if you want to use it, please do. But it's just what cell you reference and how many characters you're taking, extracting from the left. And then your right one's pretty much the same. We've got 10. So we've looked at left and we've looked at right. So let's have a look at the mid. So here's a mid here. If we look at it um, in the FX, the insert function, you can see that you've got where the text is, the cell. The start number from the beginning, which the exam would tell you again, and the number of characters to, um, to return from the middle. So if we OK, that's why we get the Joe. If we did this one, we've got six and we've got two, and that's why we get the J. So pretty much follows the same idea as that one. Another one to use is trim. So it's a great little tool, trim. In the exam, it will talk about um, removing unnecessary spaces. So if you've received a workbook or a worksheet and it's all messy like this, and you think, oh, the whole thing's at right state, then you could use a trim to fix it all up. Nice and simple. Let's do the first one, close it off with a bracket, enter. And then it fixes it all beautifully. <clears throat> Don't go testing it with 300 spaces and think, oh, it doesn't really work that well. It's obviously a tool that works for this sort of um, example. Okay, so that's what you would be using if you were asked to in a test. And here's another example from the left. It might be that you want to extract a name from a driving license or something like that. So they're pretty straightforward, these. They're all there. Um, so if you want to, as I said before, combine them, then you can. There are examples there. Okay, so we're going to leave that one now.